and pump it up. Why your feet are stumping? And the jam is pumping. Look at here, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up a little more. Get the party going. Hey, wake up, sleepyheads. Rub your eyes, get out of bed. It's Tuesday, January 6, 2009. This is the Daily Buzz. <laughs> I'm Holly Haniel along with Andy Campbell. Alrighty, uh, we got Mitch Akia waiting in the wings. Andrea has the day off. So you saw her perform just a few moments ago. Now Disney's next big thing, Brie Morgan, is going to be talking to us about her whirlwind musical career. And Mitch, we had Brie on the show a couple years ago when she was only 12, and we called yeah, it, right? Much That's the next big thing. <laughs> she was much younger, and she's, uh, she's all grown up now. She's all grown up. She, at 14, she's a veteran of the uh, She doesn't. She won't even talk to me now. That's how grown up she is. <laughs> well, she, realizes what, star. she realizes what a goob I am. But most people won't talk to you. No, that's true. So. Well, most adults don't, so now she's an right. adult. Oh, okay. <laughs> Singer-songwriter Brie Morgan has been a musical force to be reckoned with since she was nine years old. Nine. nine. Now, at the age of 14, this <laughs> rising star has been chosen as one of only 11 artists to be featured on Radio Disney's Next Big Thing promotion. And her latest album, Lost Inside Myself, is sure to climb the charts. Here to give us her scoop on the new album and the Disney promotion is singer-songwriter Brie Morgan. Good morning, Hello. Brie! Good morning, welcome! Thank you. Thank you. you sounded wow. absolutely beautiful just a moment ago when we heard you. Thank you so much. And I, I love the fact that you, you were on the show and, you know, this is always a good sign for us when someone has the Daily Buzz in their PR. You, you have us listed right here as <laughs> us calling us it. You're giving us a plug. I love that, so thank you for that. Um, so tell us about this. I mean, how did this all come about with Disney? Uh, well, you know, I submitted my music and I was lucky enough to be chosen after that. So, you know, that's how they got my songs and they just started plugging it in and now I'm on their website in two weeks. I mean, you've been doing this since you were nine years old, so... Actually younger, actually, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Younger. Okay, it's hard uh -huh. to fathom. But how much has life changed just in the past couple years? Because so much, I mean, you've moved everything. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah, I just moved to L.A. Um, you were fr you're from here in Florida, right? I am from, yeah, what, an hour away, Melbourne. Okay, Melbourne, yeah, sure. small little town. And, um, yeah, I moved there for singing and acting. Um, and basically that's what I'm doing at the moment, writing songs and all that kind of stuff. And I've actually started writing songs, like, by myself, because before I wasn't. Right. No, I am, and I'm, that's really cool. That's got to be kind of liberating, too, to be yeah. able to be your age and already, uh, you know, a singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says that you, you like to write uplifting songs that empower kids and encourage them to believe in themselves. What a nice thing. Most definitely, yeah. Teenagers, you know, they like also relationships, you know, how they go through. And, um, you know, basically they, they need to, like, break away from some situations where the situation isn't positive for them. You know, Definitely. and uh, it's hurting them. So take us through your process. I mean, you write a whole <laughs> range of things. So when you sit down, I mean, do you do you jot notes throughout the day? Do you just have a certain time where you sit down and actually write the song? And how do you work it in with homework? That's what I. Oh, like. <laughs> I'm homeschooled on the internet. So, okay, we were yeah. just talking about homeschool yes. today. So yeah, I like it a lot. It's okay. good. <laughs> and um, no, but I, I usually. I usually sit down and I say I'm gonna write a song, so I just, you know, go for it. And then, you know, throughout the day, if I have like little ideas, I can put them in my notebook of songwriting and then just put it all together and then a song comes together. And a melody. I'll, I'll get like a melody in the shower, I'll be like, oh, that's cool. And then, you know, go back and work it out on my guitar. Now, you have uh, a little bit of a, you have an interesting background. You're Egyptian and American. Yes. Does, how, how has that influenced you? Uh, really, it's really neat because I've been to Egypt once, which is really cool. And my mom used to be in tourism, so she showed me all around the pyramids and everything. and. It's really awesome. cool. My dad's from Kentucky, so I got a mix of both. <laughs> so how do you do this all? Because I, I'm watching you perform and, and listening to you talk here. You're making me feel like so unaccomplished. I, I was a teenager. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you balance this life? Oh, you know, I'm pretty. I, I do, you know, school and everything like that. Everything is, I, everything's oh, okay. pretty balanced in the day. You know, I have a, an equal amount of everything. And this is you, you know? in 2005. Yeah. Oh my, God. Awesome. <laughs> oh my God! Flashback. You know, I mean, you think about what you've done uh, from the time you were that age to now 14, and I know what you mean, Holly. I, I haven't done that much in all of my adult <laughs> life, so it, it does make you feel does make you feel a little pathetic. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we're going to be getting uh, more performances from you and uh, more off the new album. Yeah, great. All right, Bree Morgan, everybody.